There we go. So this is Bubba, and I just got on him. You can see as I'm walking him around, I'm still having some issues with his attention and with him wanting to go where he wants to go. And that's been since the beginning, right from the beginning. This is the horse that a previous trainer was afraid to get on, and I think getting his attention was a big reason for that because the horse just never seems like he's a paying attention to what I want him to do. Always trying to do what he wants to do. And you see how he kind of pulls on my hands. Take me where he wants. And I've done a lot of work like I normally do. When he pulls on me, I change directions. I send him forward with my legs. You see, I have spurs on him today. I've been riding him a few rides with spurs. This is not the first time. But I don't want to bang on him with spurs. I don't want to. The harder I push on him, the more he's going to sell up and the worse his attitude is going to get. I want to work him in a way so that he enjoys what we're doing. And then if he enjoys what we're doing, then the work will be easier on him and he won't mind doing what I ask him to do. So I wanted to get on him. We walk him around, make sure I got some steering and I'm going to pull some cows out and see what he thinks about following some cows. See if that helps his attitude some. Most of the time it helps, and we just have to see how he handles that. I'm hoping that will give him a better attitude about doing something, a little bit better work ethic. That seems to be his biggest hold up, holding back his advancement. I want to stop and get off, but go let some cows out, but I'm not going to reward him by stopping when he's pulling on my hands. So we're going to see if we can go forward and see if he will stop without pulling on my hands. There, that wasn't too bad. You probably, well, now he didn't stay stopped. Didn't pull on my hands, but he didn't stay stopped long enough for me to get on. Still the same thing that I was doing before. When he pulls on me, I'm gonna pull a little bit harder and I'm gonna send him forward. And this is kind of the problem I'm dealing with. He's just kind of sullen, hanging on my hands, not wanting to go forward. This is what I'm hoping pushing cows around will fix. Let's see if he'll let me stop here. There we go. Oh, no, don't go nowhere. I know he has seen cows when we put horses out a lot of times we lead them through this pen with the cows so I know he's not overly reactive to them but I've never used him to push the cows to make the cows move I'm gonna get out a few and we're gonna see how it goes This kind of thing normally works better when there's a few cows. Works better for the cows, it works better for the horses. And another part of that is those smaller cows in there, they don't really understand the game, those two white ones. So they need to work with some older ones that I've worked with for a while to understand what we're doing. Oh, the one white one and then this one over here. There's another white one. I guess it didn't come out. Go back to my step, get back on. I could get on him from the ground, but he's not wanting to stand real great at the step. Most owners are gonna use a step. So I wanna use that opportunity to teach the horse to stand at the step. It's not gonna do any good. I'm always getting on the ground, and then the owner goes to get on a step. Let 
Oh, not going anywhere yet. So what I'm looking for here, I want him to pin his ears to give an expression to the cow so that the cow wants to move. And then I would really like for him to follow a cow without a whole lot of direction for me. Have that cow kind of pull him along or a couple of cows, however it works out. It doesn't have to be a single cow. It could be the whole group. What happens right here in a lot of cases, it, it goes to basic herd dynamics. If he can make that cow move, then that puts him higher in the pecking order. They like being higher in the pecking order. Let's go. They like being higher in the pecking order. And that normally gives them confidence. Let's see if he'll follow that one that's moving there. There we go. He hasn't pinned his ears yet. Now he's kind of following the group there to start. Takes him a minute to figure out the game. Okay. Let's see what you think about these over here. That little Brendel one there just seems like he just wants to make friends. He might not work very good for this. He might have to find another home. Let's go over here. I'll sit that black and white one. Black and white one only moves pretty good. Now I'm using my legs to try to send him forward. I'll use my reins to point him on the cow. And then I'm generally going to, you got to point at the cow, and then I'll generally give him his face back and just send him forward with my legs. Without the cow, when I send him forward with my legs, that's where he's kind of sullen about, don't really like it, a little bit gripey about it. But if I'm sending him forward to the cows and that has a purpose that he enjoys and he gets something out of, he feels dominant over that cow, then it's not as big a deal, it's not as bad. He has a reason for me asking him to move forward. He's not giving me as much expression on the cow as I would like. He's not pinning his ears. He's more acting like he wants to be friends. It's not really what I like to see. And because of that, the cows aren't really moving. They're like, well, you're saying you want to be friends. Why do I need to move? There we go. It's a little bit. His ear's coming back a little bit. I don't know if he was coming back thinking about pinning to make the cow move, coming back listening to me, or coming back complaining about me. Hard to tell right there. We'll just keep going. I'm, I'm hoping that was thinking about pinning his ears at the cow. Yeah, that's all tracking on his own right there. I'm just sitting there. That's a lot better. Keeps leaving the cow. I wish he wouldn't do that. Let's go back over here. Now let's put my rain down again. Nope, back over here. That is the gate to go right out back, and we have been doing that with him. Make him feel like he has some place to go. But he's still, just a couple of minutes, he, he starts to saw at that too. There we go. walk away a little bit and then we'll come back give him a little break from it now while I'm giving him the break I'm just gonna kind of be soft be easy just asking to move his feet when I'm further along in this training and I'm wanting them to lock on the cow I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna uh, spur on them a little bit I'm gonna pull on them a little bit more so that they want to be back there with the cows At this stage I'm not gonna do that I'm trying to make everything as enjoyable as I can if I scold on him here and he gets a bad attitude, that's going to carry through to over there. Turned him on these two because I know those two are generally a little 
better about moving than that brindle one there. Yeah. Not as good as I'd hoped it would be, but he's not telling me no either. There's his ear. There's his ears wanting to do a little bit. Forward. He wanted to complain about me spurring on him. I want him to move into that cow space bubble and make that cow move. He learns that he can do that. That's going to build his confidence up. Give him a job. Give him a purpose. That one's just standing there watching us. <laughs> there. Uh, that was good. Take that. All right. We'll walk away. I like that. He walked. When he went step to that one, he took about two little bit quicker steps. Wasn't a lot. Might not even be able to see it, but I could feel it. It was like he was stepping with a little purpose. Go back and do it one more time. Sometimes it takes him a couple times of doing this to really get their confidence up. Let's go to that red one that's been standing there watching us. These cows are all uh, some sort of Corriente Longhorn Cross. Most of them are mostly Corriente. You can see that one is mostly Corriente. That one's got a little bit of Longhorn in it. You can tell by the shape of the horns. That one, I think they tried to dehorn him when he was born and it didn't go good. They still grew and that's why his horn shape is odd. He was already like, there we go. That more pin in his ears. That black, there we go. Good boy. Good boy. That's what I'm wanting right there. Let's do that one more time. Let's go, I'm gonna walk away and then I'm gonna trot back to the cow. Come on, see if we can bring that out. If I ask him to trot, ask him to give me the effort and then with that effort comes something fun. The idea is to be more willing to give me the effort. So let's see what we get. Don't pull on my hands. Let's go to the cow. That one don't really work good. Don't pick that one. Let's try it again. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. That's what I was wanting to see. So what I'm going to do, now that that seemed like it clicked, I'm not going to keep going and doing it to the point where it starts to feel like work. That last run, he had fun. He dominated the cow, made the cow move, made him feel good about himself. That's where I'm going to stop. So this is Bubba. I'll put a link up here to his other videos if you're watching on YouTube. Until next time, thank you for watching.